Um, so this was um, based on some previous work that we have done. We had done looking at how much people were willing to uh, invest in products such as bed nets, and we found these surprising results that people are uh, not able to pay very much for them, but conditional on having one, they are very likely to use it. So even if they get one for free, they use it, but then they don't want to you know, put uh, the money where their mouth is, so to speak. So the question was, are they just constrained in their ability to save for this product? We know that they don't have access to credit. Um, they should be able to save for this thing. If they value them, why can't they? And so we, we tried to design products that could help people save for health. Um, so first we met with people, we asked them if they had specific goals for health they wanted to save for. Everybody cared about health a lot and wanted to be able to save more and invest in such uh, things as bed nets and water filters. Um, and then we, we randomized which type of product we offered people and some of them were at a group level kind of free riding off of the Rosca structure. And then two products were at the individual level and uh, they were long boxes and, and based on uh, the long box that was uh, provided in the seed experiment by uh, Nava Ashraf and colleagues in the Philippines. And one of them was exactly the same as the seed product, which is a lock box and um, a padlock. And the key to the padlock is kept uh, by uh, you know, the program officer. So people can put money in the box, but they can't take it out. So it's like a straight commitment product. You can only access the money once you've reached the money goal that you have. The other one was um, the same box, the same padlock, that people could keep the key. So there's no commitment feature there in the sense that they can take the money out anytime they want. But this part, uh, provides some protection from others. They can hide the key, uh, or they can also hide the box. Um, and you know, we found that essentially, just looking at these two products and comparing them, that the box, when people had the key themselves, helped them save much better uh, than the one when they didn't have the key, uh, which is a puzzle because you know, in principle, if people can just take the money in and put the money in and out, why does it help them? Um, and it turns out that people really uh, thought of the box as, and the money in the box as earmarked for this product that they had told us they wanted. And this mental accounting uh, mechanism really, um, called, called labeling, really made a difference. And so, you know, in follow-up survey, they told us, yeah, the money was in the box, and, you know, it was really for my bed net or for my water filter, and so, um, you know, I didn't want to take money out uh, for anything, uh, but that uh, people also realized that if they could, you know, just save their coins uh, one by one in the box, uh, they wouldn't have the, the coins in their pockets, and it would be easier for them not to spend it on on on, on uh, things that uh, they didn't care for so much. Uh, we also find strong evidence that people felt that when the money was in the box, because it was really for this purpose, uh, they felt they felt more empowered to say no to requests from others. Um, so the question is, why is the box, when people don't have the key, not helping in the same way? And we find that the, the commitment there was too strong. So essentially, people don't want to lock up their money um, because they might need it actually for health, uh, but not for prevention uh, investments, but for treatment. Uh, people are subject to you know, malaria episodes all the time, or typhoid, or diarrhea, things like that all the time. They need to uh, go to the pharmacy uh, very often, we find on average households spend a lot of money on, uh, on treatment, and having the cash on the hand uh, is important for that. Um, so people are not interested in locking up money so much that they can't access it uh, for emergencies, especially health emergencies. Um, and this uh, ties in well with, with one of the other products we had, which was uh, working through the Rosca, which was a commitment product that was a little bit more flexible, so you could commit uh, your savings for health, but it was health broadly. So it was not just a specific product, it was uh, just health broadly, and so health emergencies could count there. So people could save the money in that um, structure and get it any time uh, easily if they had a health emergency. And that, that worked uh, better than the box, uh, which was not available easily because we had, you know, we had the key and we were not just around. So, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, we have this, um, surprising results that, that it's a very simple product that people could just make on their own, uh, made a huge difference in their ability to invest in preventative health. And uh, you know, the next question now is why couldn't they just do this on their own? Why did we need to come along and, and provide this box? 
And it seems that people had not necessarily uh, realized how much uh, mental accounting uh, can be powerful. And you know, the um, qualitative data that we gathered suggests that people were just surprised at their own, uh, ab you know, the, their own ability to to stick to their uh, to their plan when the boss was um, physically, you know, uh, embodying their plan.